Now, I mentioned some of you are going to see cetratide on your calendar. Your dose is only going to be 125 micrograms. Well, those same steps that we took where we injected the water and we waited for it to dissolve, we're good. Now, this syringe isn't going to do me any more good. I had the water in it. I've injected it and reconstituted it. But like the package said, I have now reconstituted 250 micrograms but my dose is only 125 micrograms. So I've mixed myself a cetratide and that's gonna last me two mornings. I've got two doses of 125 micrograms there. Now, how am I gonna split it? Well, if you look at this syringe, it'll tell you there is one mil of water. Now, oftentimes you hear us say mil or cc. You know, mil and cc are the same thing, so we use those interchangeably. But there was one milliliter of water in here and I injected it in there. Well. If I want half that dose out, I want half a milliliter out. So, done with this guy. I'm not even gonna use the little needle that came with him. Instead, I'm gonna go get one of my little Lupron type syringes. Or again, if your coordinator ordered you maybe some one mil syringes with needles that attach, that works too. The bottom line is, is I want you to understand you put one mil of water in there, so I'm gonna take out a half a mil this morning for my shot put that in the fridge and save the other half mil for tomorrow morning. Now again, for my patients, I often tell them, just use your Lupron syringes. They're already half cc, half milliliter, same thing. And the whole syringe, all the way up to 50 units, and it says 0 0.5 mil on the other side, this is a half a mil. So for those folks who have to do 125 micrograms of Cetratide, got it mixed and ready to go, I'm just gonna use this little syringe here, put it right in. Turn it over, and I'm just going to pull down on the plunger, and I'm just going to fill the syringe. Yeah, all kind of crazy little bubbles going on in there. Don't worry about that. This isn't an exact science, okay? And I just keep withdrawing until I get down to 50 units or 0 0.5. It's a half ml. There we go, ready to go. Take that out. There's my shot of a half a dose of cetratide, and there is tomorrow morning's dose. Now again, with my mayonnaise rule, I always make sure that we refrigerate this, and I'll put that in the fridge, though cetratide does kind of make a stink about getting refrigerated ahead of time. Uh, but make sure you keep this guy in the fridge. We'll do our little sub-Q injection. Now tomorrow morning, I don't have anything to mix. I just go to my refrigerator, I grab my little cetratide, I'll grab my little Lupron syringe, and I'm gonna empty the vial. That's what I'm gonna do. Now, you might think, well, tomorrow morning I'm gonna get out 50 units again. You're not. Because you can't get every last drop. Water sticks to the inside of the vial. You just empty the vial the next morning. You might only get 35 or 40 units. Whatever you get is perfectly fine, and that'll be your dose for the next morning. Again, this medication is simply in place to stave you off from ovulating or to keep your pituitary hormones quiet. Usually you're on this all the way up until your trigger shot. And that is half dose cetratide.